So to change the bearing end cap on a WAM screw conveyor, you just go ahead and, and remove all the bolts. Uh, I've already loosened these up and taken most of them out. And they may be through from this direction. They may be through from this, this direction. Uh, sometimes the plate's threaded, sometimes it's not. So just remove the bolts. And now I'll close my pocket. And grab a screwdriver or something and, and go ahead and split it. Like that. And then you can just go ahead and pull it out. Now this is on the top end, but this is what it looks like when you pull it out. So it's spline and the spline slides right rides right inside the shaft. Now this auger is not on a plant, it's just in our yard. If the auger was was at an angle or or uh, incline, you'd want to open a bottom hatch on the tube and support the flighting, um, especially if you're replacing a bottom end cap so the flighting couldn't slide down. Because on both ends, the flighting just rides on a spline, okay? On both ends. And put it back together, just put that in there. Uh, Line it up. And this has a gasket on it, but otherwise you can put a bead of caulk in here. Put that in there. And uh, go ahead and bolt it back up. Before you take it apart, it's always a good idea to verify if your diameter and bolt pattern is the same as what's on the flange or the auger. You should be good to go. Tighten up.